is Teacher Tally. I hope you guys are all doing good and enjoy this extra time at home with your families. Um, even though school is closed, um, you guys can still see your teachers through these videos. So I hope you're enjoying them and we miss you all so much. Um, today, I was thinking we could do an activity together. So I'm gonna show you guys some things you need for the activity. And if you want, you could push pause. You can go help your families, um, your parents find the materials. And if you don't have the material right now, don't worry, you can watch how to do it. And then when you get the materials on another day, you can do the activity then, okay? So we need a white piece of paper, okay? Any size is good. And I'm gonna use four containers and you can use any containers you have at home. Maybe jars or cups, whatever you have. And some bubble solution. So if you don't have any bubble solution, you can make some. There's some recipes um, that you can look up and maybe you'll be able to make some using some things you have at home. And so we're just gonna pour some in each container, okay? And then you'll need to put some colors in there. So you can use um, you can use food coloring. That's what I'm going to use. You can also use watercolors if you have watercolors at home. So I'm going to use some food coloring. Okay. We have you guys all know what color this is. Red, right? We have some yellow, and we have some green. And we'll do some blue. All right. And we are going to use um, some straws. So if you have some straws at home, you could go grab some. Or if you have uh, bubble wands and you want to use that, you could do that too. So we're going to give these a little stir. We'll mix the colors in there. And then make sure that it's working. So grab one and Another stir. Aha, it works. All right, so what you want to do is you want the bubbles to fall on your paper. Okay, so it's bubble art. So, and as they fall and land on your paper, they will start to pop. If you want, you can stand up. That way you can blow directly over your paper. Use all different colors. If you want, you can also you can put two together. Watch. Oh. Hmm. If you want more bubbles, you can put two. You can do it'll start to make big and small bubbles all all over your paper. And pretty soon you will have a whole paper full of bubbles. Then you want to come help me blow some bubbles? Yeah. Here, I have some straws for you. This is my daughter, Nuri. Hi. <laughs> and She's gonna help me fill out the paper. You guys can keep watching if you want. <gasps> that was a lot of them. Want to see what it's looking like? Um, can I try? Yeah. So this is what it's looking like. And this is my son Elon. <laughs> and we did one a little while ago and it's drying. This is another one we did. So you want to go ahead and do some too? Yes. Here, why don't you try this way and see? You can cut this straw down. There we go. Wanna do some more? Yeah. 
Should we fold it up for them? Wait, I'm gonna do all at once. See, friends, this is what it's looking like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, we'll, we'll tune in again soon, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends.